you know what you're doing when it comes to this time of year. We know you love floral. I do. And all of a sudden the temperature drops a little bit and we still want to have that beautiful sort of foliage feel in our homes. Um, but it might be harder to find or easy, easier depending on how you look at it. It's both. It's yeah. both. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. It's both. But yeah, you know what? Greenery adds a really beautiful natural element to your home. And there's been yeah. a few trends over the last few years, like um, the fiddle leaf fig tree. I think it's probably oh, yeah. in one out of every five homes in North America at this point. It's beautiful, right? Either real or faux. Yeah. Or succulents have been a really big trend as Huge. well, right? So we've seen a lot of that. And now what we're seeing is oversized greenery in vases and jars and things and it's so simple and so beautiful but there's kind of a right way to do it to make it look like it's professionally done that's okay, what we're going to talk about here okay give us the inside track all right well first is the type of container that you're going to use the type of vase that you're going to use yeah i recommend using something with a narrower opening because then you can kind of control where the branches are going um we'll get to something larger but if you're going with something larger it's going to be a lot more expensive because you're going to need more to fill it that's right, right? And, I'll, and i'll show a little demonstration about that here in a second too. Okay. You also want to keep in mind the scale of the greenery to the container. Okay, what are we so looking for? You want the greenery to be at least half the height mm -hmm. higher or two thirds higher. Yeah, because if it's like this much peeking okay. out, it's yeah. not right. That's, that's terrible. That does not look good. That's awful. That is awful. Do not do yeah, that. Please no, don't do that. It needs to be like that. It needs to be really full. Yeah. Exactly. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And that's with faux or real. Okay. Right? Okay. So then let's move on and talk about faux. Mm -hmm. There are so, I mean, you know, I've used them on the show so many times with it's flowers. It's good now, They're the faux. so incredible and they last forever. So the price point's great. Um, the thing to keep in mind is that when you're dealing with faux, I say it with flowers too. I'll say the same thing with greenery. You want to deal with bunches of the same kind. Okay. Mixing it up makes it look more fake. Yeah. Okay? And okay. then you just, and here, I'm going to show an example of why narrower is better here. So we've got them in here. Yeah. Like, that. how hard was that? That was easy. So hard. I'm exhausted. And they're but there. look how beautiful that is. They're there right. until, like, 2025. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just dust them every once in a while. You can't see me. Sorry. Wipe them off. Right. Give them a dust. Give them a little shake outside, and they're good to go. Yeah. But let, this doesn't look a lot wider, but I'm going to show you the difference. When you put it in there, oh, do you see the difference? That's you just have sad. to probably double or triple the greenery for that. That's right. But here's a little... A little cheat for you. Let's okay. say that's already the vase you have. You don't want to go shopping. You've already got your greenery. People are coming over. You want to have it. Get a little bit of floral foam. Okay. I have some in my basement. You may not. So you may have to go buy some. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can be more deliberate about where you're placing your nice. greenery and it will stay. It's yeah. not doing it for me. Right? So do that, you ever so do helps. the thing where you tie them up? Yes. So you put them together, yes. it can be elastic or some kind of a ribbon, and then they stand better. I've even used, believe it or not, leftover kind of packing paper, yeah. and I've wrapped it around in there and just stuck it in between there. So whatever you have That'll at home work. to kind of help stabilize it. And yeah. then once it's in there, too, I just want to show you, usually they come very, very straight and flat. So you want to just spread the blooms out, Yeah. right, and make them look a little bit more full. Yep. And my other trick is, too, if you're going to put these in a shorter vase, like the one down in front of us here, that's another full arrangement, mm -hmm. those branches are actually way longer than that. But all I do, because they're, they have wire, right? Mm -hmm. So I just bend them okay. and stick them in when they're going into here, something short. Here, I'm just going to show them you what that it? looks like. I'll take so this out of the way because it's kind of hiding. Bend them, and then that's great, too, because they're going to stay in there a little bit better. Um, it's all about the fullness, though. It is, yeah. And then, But then you can put them in a taller one later on, and you haven't, you know... Ruin Cut down it. the size. Exactly. That's exactly. Smart. So let's talk a little bit more about faux here. Is let's say you want to use a glass container. It's not my favorite option, but you can. Yeah. Um, if you're going to put them in glass, my only tip is please add water. Just make sure that the plastic yes. stems yeah. and not the ones that have a little bit of paper wrapped around them. Yeah. And then they instantly feel real. Make it look real. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Super simple. Okay. Good stuff. But if you can use one that you can't see through. That's my preference. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit better. Now, are we moving on? Is this this is real stuff, That's right? That's the real deal. Oh, it's very pretty. Isn't it beautiful? It's lovely. What do we need to know about the real? So my recommendation is to always go to a florist. I know I say that with flowers too. You're going to get better quality and they're going to last longer. So these yeah. ones are from Fiori Oakville here. And then when you get them home, yeah. always trim the bottoms before you put them in water. So the one yeah. in front, I trim the bottoms. That's beautiful. Stuck. Isn't that pretty? That's so gorgeous. And again, I know you can mix and match when you're dealing with real, but I think there's such an impact when you just get a large bunch of the same kind of greenery. It looks so pretty. I like it better, and it's also easier. Hello? It's so simple. Then you're not, like, thinking, oh, my gosh, is it too much of the white? Do I need more of the green? Like, this is easy. Yeah, it's a big impact. Right. And then you want to just peel back all of the leaves that especially 
especially below the waterline. Yes. But even around, you can even see there, I, I didn't do it before we came here because I wanted to show it. It's a little bit full right at the opening of the vase. Yep. So that could do with a little bit of pruning there too, just okay. so you see some of the branches coming out. Yep. Um, and then here's, uh, I love this one here. This is my favorite. So this is a large container. It's actually a planter. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a hole in the bottom because it's meant to be outside. Mm -hmm. So what I've done to cheat this is I've got a smaller vase Smart. filled with water that I've tucked inside, yeah. and I've actually got an old tea towel. I can't, it's so heavy, I can't lift it, but I've just wrapped a whole, an old tea towel. So this is around the smaller vase. Around it so that it doesn't inside. bump and scratch or break, potentially. Yeah. That's good. And then, you ready? And the little one's filled with water. The little one's filled with water. Do you ever put plant food in there? Yes, you could, for sure. That's pretty. Stay. And I've got a mix of some of them tied and some of them loose, just to give oh, that full. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love that. Now, the one thing that you've also told us before, um, if you want to fake it, if this is against the wall or in the corner, push them all to the front. Oh, yes. It's like when you yep. want big hair. Yes. You just do that, and you put a clip in there, and you're done. <laughs> Look at it. It's big. <laughs> yes. Good tip. <laughs>